Hi everybody, welcome to the Daisy Editor. And as you can see, I'm working on one of my underground bunkers. This one is actually going to be in Livonia. So what I want to talk about in this video is kind of the secrets behind making these um, underground bunkers, how you make them work and how you can put them together in Daisy Editor. So I guess probably the easiest thing is if we, um, if we come up to the surface, and uh, first, first little hint and tip, and this was straight from Balshad who showed me the other day, is that if you want to be able to move the camera underneath the ground in editor, you want to go into the editor settings. So editor preferences camera, and then allow below ground. I can't believe I didn't see that before. But if you tick on that, you can then see underneath the ground. Um, so let's just close that. How it's probably easy for you to kind of see what I've done. If I just copy everything and then we'll just paste it over here. And then what we'll do is we'll just bring it up out of the ground, kind of hang it in the air so we can have a good look at it. So this in essence is my bunker. A bit like an iceberg, everything's happening under underground. So the tunnel that gets you underground is the lighthouse because the lighthouse is is cool in the fact that it has the tube um so that as your people are climbing down into the bunker they don't see you know underneath the map too much i mean there, there are a few windows in it and the trick is what you do is when you put this into the ground you make sure that kind of the, the this flat bit here is kind of level with the surrounding area and when your characters climb onto the ladder they glitch underneath the it'll glitch through the surface which allows them to then descend into the bunker now balshad assures me that if you fiddle around with this height you can get to a point where they can glitch back out as well but i haven't managed to do that now the rest of the bunker you'll see is made up of the castle walls so in the in the editor if you just look for um, castle uh, I think it's the very first wall, um, and it's a really good building block for anything like that. And basically, I made a box. Now, I didn't make the box first. I just put a base in to start off with, built what I wanted to be the um, the contents of the bunker to be, and then built the other ones around. So we've got a back wall there, we've got the side walls, and then we've got two front walls as well that I kind of, if we come around the front, actually, you can probably see it a little bit better, that I kind of butted up as best as I could against the uh, lighthouse. Unfortunately, the walls aren't completely true. Um, and then while I, while I was inside, um, basically it was just very, very slowly um, placing items uh, all around, just finding them. And a big help for this actually is if you go into Editor, Preferences, uh, Camera, turn the camera speed right down so it's really slow so that you can uh, navigate around inside these uh, areas. Now, one thing I found is that although you can build this underground, um, by using that trick where you can make the camera go underground, I actually found it easier to build stuff on the ground. Um, and this came to really um, be to do with um, when you're dragging objects into the um, into your bunker. So let's just um, let's plunk this say down on the ground like that. And let me show you. So if we go into the bunker, let's see if I can show you an example. Let's say I wanted to put a, I don't know, something in this corner. What, what should we put in this corner? Let's put a barrel there. So let's get a barrel. If we drag it in and let go, if you're underground, the barrel would sometimes be above where you are. Um, and you wouldn't be able to see the little blue box because if you can see the little blue box, it means you can grab Alt and you can move it around and you can normally get it close to where you need it to be. And then you can double click on it and then you can click in these boxes uh, just to kind of move it around. If you press Shift, you can move things slowly. Like so. Maybe you want to move it out a little bit. And then we can press T to transport our fella there. Press home to zoom it to kind of teleport in. And then you can just see where um, where things are. See if things are floating in air. Now remember, 
as soon as you go below ground doors stop working on structures so within your bunker make sure there aren't any doors now you might say well okay Rob well, what's this little bit in the corner well this is just set dressing although it opens up in the editor um, it, uh, it's just set dressing so the idea is that they, people come down here and they think oh there's another there's another bit of the bunker but it's not it's just just there for a, for a little bit of atmosphere now I've put barrels in here I don't know whether barrels open um, uh, I put them here as a bit of an experiment just to see whether they will on a on a real server um, to give you some storage because what happens is when, when you climb down into the bunker um, I haven't been able to do it so that you can actually get out so the only way you get out is by logging off and when you log back in again you'll appear on the ground above where you logged out in the bunker also if you drop anything that appears above ground as well and the idea of adding the barrels was that um, that would give you storage. So if you wanted to use this as a base, you could actually drop stuff into there without worry of it, worry about it um, disappearing. So um, let's just come out again, and then I'll, I'll kind of just show you um, how I kind of sink it into the ground. So to sink it into the ground, what you need to do is you need to make sure you've selected everything, okay? And then you click on something, press Alt, and then pull down. And that will then sink into the ground and get it roughly where you want it to be. Now this isn't a great place because we can see the um, the wall sticking out of the ground. That isn't always a bad thing, to be honest. When, when you're making a bunker, to have a little bit of the stonework showing above the ground. Um, I, I don't think. And I actually, tell you what, that's pretty much spot on. You could probably come down with coming down a little bit. So let's click there. Let's press Shift and let's just bring it down a tiny little bit. Let's transport our fella there. Let's press home. Uh, now, can't, now, sometimes you find you can't climb over these barriers. Oh, there we go. So we're in. Hang on. Zoom over here. Let's go to first person. See if that helps. There we go. We've got the little tag to get on the ladder, and then we can climb down. Now, can we get back out again? No, we're banging our head against the invisible ground. Let's head on down. So you can see how see through these windows. You can kind of see the outside world. But hopefully, it won't ruin immersion too much. Then we get right down here. And we're into the bunker and there it is how cool is that so there we go so that's the secret to making bunkers in uh, daisy editor um, and then to export it you just go you know uh, file export export as an object spawner dot uh, json um, and then you put that in uh, your, your um, cfg gameplay dot json as a, as a custom object spawner and you can spawn it onto the map right so there we go hopefully that's useful um, if it has been, hit like if you want to see me on the same press subscribe, and I will of course see you again soon.